Hey guys, what's up, Pacific Gaming here. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. Today we're going to go and be down here in San Diego Police today here. And I'm really excited to go and do this. I really love uh, San Diego a lot as a city. And we are here in the police department now. And uh, I am still sick, so I do apologize about the voice situation if I have to cough or whatever during uh, this video. <clears throat> it is a ongoing uh, dilemma here to try and get unsick and I know everybody pretty much is sick so it's really it's not very fun I know so uh, we're gonna go and get out here and make the best of the situation hopefully I do feel good enough to go and get in here and start trying to make videos but with that said we're gonna go and get out here in San Diego like I said we have this beautiful 2016 Ford Explorer to use today the lighting setup is pretty much the best that I can do it it doesn't really come back like that on the Valor here it just like goes out I mean towards the back end there and it doesn't come back like this one does come back unfortunately I really don't think I can make it so but yeah oh I can uh, yay yes I can okay that there you go that's that's it that's pretty much it without a little bit less of the um, without the full light bar being completely lit up at one point I don't think that's how they have it at least but I know that's pretty much very similar so that is good that is uh, that's something I like to see so all right um, on the back here we have an amber light that kind of goes back and forth which is actually how they have it except the middle part there is lit up whenever they do that unfortunately I cannot do what is that happening over there unfortunately I cannot do that over here but you know that's all right so uh, that is what we're working with today is absolutely beautiful and uh, pretty much legit the best that I can make it so I do like this light bar a lot too especially with a pattern that kind of goes like that it's really really nice so we're gonna go get out on the streets now of San Diego and see what we get into today we've got this lady here that's kind of like lane splitting a little bit she's kind of in the bike lane so that is gonna be a moving violation to be in the bike lane there um, so we're gonna go and stop her for that once this light changes to green all right, so we've got her here uh, going through intersections. Now we're going to go and pull her over up here. And uh, we'll see what's going on with her. Probably going to have to pull her over in the bike lane, which is going to be kind of ironic because she got stopped for being in the bike lane. So. so let's go and get her up here off the side of the road a little bit more for me. There you go. Okay. So we're going to go and get a 1028, 1029 on her plate right now. It's going to be Sonaro 06 Bravo uh, Queen Queen 767. Zero six boy queen queen seven six seven no ten ninety nine back to Damon Roberts zero citations and negative 99 or anything of that nature so we're gonna go and get out with them right now and uh, see what is going on here today and uh, we'll go and see what is up so see why they're in the lane there should hopefully just be a warning. How's it going, sir? My name is uh, Officer Evan Gaming with the San Diego Police Department. That Explorer looks so good with that light bar. Um, reason I'm stopping today is because you're going in the bike lane back there, and you're stopping in the bike lane on the uh, on the red light there. So you're kind of halfway in the bike lane and halfway in the regular lane. You need to pick a lane, so it's going to be a failure to maintain lane pretty much. You got ID on your man proof insurance. All right, uh, Mr. Roberts, is there anything legal in the vehicle I should know about? Okay, go and sit tight for me. I'll be right back with you. No way. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go and run his information now in the, our computer here. And uh, we'll see what it comes back with. All right, so let's go and look at his name here. His name's coming back clear, negative 99. The vehicle is also coming back clear, which is good. So that is going to be that. So he is completely clean. I'm just going to give him a warning about that. See, we're in the bike lane. So obviously people need to go and get by here. Um, that's why he can't be stopping. All right. You're going to go get a warning today, sir. Just make sure you're staying out of the bike lane, okay? Because I know we're in the bike lane as well. So we need to go and get on out, okay? Have a good day. Right. Drive safe. Off you go. All right. So we're going to go in. Somebody's tire just popped. We're going to go and uh, get out here and get back into the regular traffic now. And uh, I'm just going to turn on my back visor here. It's kind of going to be going in and out. So hopefully people will uh, get away from us here, but that'll be that. So uh, we'll go and see what else we can get into today. Uh, 2 Bravo 83, I'll be back tonight. Citizens report a civilian requiring assistance in the Spooshy Canal. I'm getting a report to be broken down vehicle here in the area. We're going to go and uh, flip around, actually. We're going to make a left here and then flip around right here and then uh that'll be that so all right 
Um, we're gonna need to make a right hand turn here, so we need to hop into this lane, but they're gonna be back in uh, one of these alleyways, I think, so we're just gonna get out there, code one, no need to get out there in any emergency, you know, this is not a big situation, so we'll just go ahead and uh, wait here and then make a right hand turn and we'll be good to go. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue down this street, it looks like, and then we're gonna make a right hand turn up here, so... Stop at the stop sign. We're all good to go. I like this area a lot here. I don't really go down to the Del Perro area that much. Which is kind of unfortunate because it's a very nice area here that uh, Rockstar has made the game. So I do really like this and uh, it's very, very nice. So come on, people. Oh my god, lady. What are you doing? Nice. That was a good... Flips him off. I'm sorry. I'm pulling her over. No. I know I'm on my way to something, they're gonna have to wait. Attention it's a 1080, are you kidding me? I'm sorry, I can't do the call anymore. You're gonna have to clear the call. You're gonna have to clear the call. You're gonna have to clear the call, dispatch. I'm gonna be in a 1080 right now. We're gonna be South San Andreas Avenue here. It's gonna be a one black Sorraro SUV here. If I go and get an air unit to my location. I'm gonna be the only unit in the pursuit right now at this time. Let's keep it that way here. Alright, we are going to be, oh, just 10.50 into the back of that car there. We're going to be at Eastbound Rockford Drive. We do have the air unit here. It's going to go and continue out with the callouts. Alright, we're going to be going through Rockford Drive and Palomino right now. Slow speeds. Going to be picking it up right now. Southbound Rockford Drive. Passing the entrance here to the uh, helicopter pier. Still continuing right now, gonna be making a right hand turn onto Dutch London Street. Gonna be Dutch London right now and Rockford, Dutch, Dutch London and Shark Street, Dutch London and Greenwich Street, Dutch London. Keep going up southbound Dutch London. What are you doing? Watch it. We're still coming up right now, gonna be passing the entrance to the freeway here. She is not getting on the freeway. We're stopped at the intersection right now of Dutch London and Interstate 5. She is actually getting on the freeway. She's getting on 5. Getting on the 5. Is that a copper? No, that's a guy who hit the wall. Alright, we're on the freeway right now. We're on Interstate 5. She is going to go and be uh, crossing over now onto the lower part of the 5. Took the exit. Took the rightmost exit. We're on the lower part of the 5 right now. Still down there, I do have eyes completely here. I'm gonna light them up. This looks so good from the front anyways. I can't even, I don't know what I wanna do. I love it. Still on the lower part of the five here. Never been down here too much. We should do a, eight, a highway patrol down here. It's a very interesting area actually. I've never been down here to this part too, too much. So still gonna be on this lower part here, going under the tunnel. <clears throat> still underneath the four and the five. We're, cop we're popping back out right now. We're on the lower, I mean, on the upper part right now of the five. All right, we can need, we would have gotten CHP involved here. Not that I have them in the game, but if we did, then be perfect. But taking the Del Perro freeway, taking the two right now, taking Interstate two. <clears throat> All right, they're on the, e <laughs> she's honking, on the exit ramp or on the entrance ramp, I mean. And we are going to be squeezing through these people here. Alright, we're now on the 2 freeway. <coughs> we're going to be stopped. <coughs> well, Alright, we're going to be continuing still here on the 2 and the 5. Right now we're on the 2. Passing the entrance to the one on the two right now, going eastbound. All right, air unit can go and continue the call out. So where are they? They're back there. <coughs> 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 Holy cow. All right, we are still continuing right now. We are going to be on safe mode. I don't know if I want to call in any more units or not. I don't think I want to, but I don't know. I really don't think I want to anyway, so... We'll probably not be calling them in. Okay, what are we doing? 
this pursuit's been going on for a while. I'm gonna go and try and see about getting uh, some sort of spike strip going on here. That's really gonna help in this situation if we can get some of that going on. And I gotta catch back up here. Come on. <clears throat> All right, we've got her on the uh, thing. We're possibly gonna be getting some spike strips here. Hopefully we'll get some, we do not. All right, we've got spike strips out. Oh, I don't think they worked. No, they didn't. I don't think we got any spike strips there. I think it didn't uh, didn't register in time here. We are still on the two. We're on US Route 20 right now in La Mesa. All right, gonna try again for spike strips. We've got it initiated here. We do have the other unit with us. It's a Philadelphia unit, so that's a legit, but don't worry about that. Another one. All right, they're gonna be spiked here. Oh, they didn't. Yeah, I think only that side. The right side got spiked. Right side back is confirmed spiked. I don't know if we have any more spiked right now. We have one tire, though. We're gonna be going through the intersection of US Route 20 and El Rancho Boulevard. We're still on US Route 20 going towards the bridge at this time. We can get another uh, spike strip right up here, it looks like. She's gonna be going over that now. We do have sp spiked. I believe she's all spiked. I believe all tires have been spiked. Yep, a firm. All tires have been spiked. <clears throat> Just gonna be a matter of time here. We're gonna be able to get a pit and box her in, and that'll be this pursuit. Alright. Still continuing down, going towards the bridge right now here. We're gonna get traffic out of our way. Oh, we're gonna try to get this done before the bridge, but I don't know if we- there we go. Yep, just continue with it, just go with it. Box her in, box her in, box her in, she's flipping around again. He, sorry, he's flipping around again. Get him boxed, get him boxed, get him boxed. God, you units are useless. Come on, people, let's box them. There you go, pinch him in, boom, that's it, that's it. Get out of the car, get out of the car, get your hands up, dude, get on the ground, get on the ground. Do it now, we got one taken off right now. We're in the desert. Get on the ground, dude, you're gonna get tased, you're gonna get tased, you're gonna get tackled, going in for a tackle, got him. Tackle. Get your hands up, dude, right now, I got non-lethal, I got non-lethal. I got you, I got you. Get down on the ground, do it now. Don't move. Got one down right now here in the desert. <laughs> Not really, but kind of. It looks like that was good. All right, all right. Our Kara, Akara Young, I believe. All right, let's go and go back here. That was a good take in. That was a good takedown. I mean, <laughs> take in. Yeah, that's the opposite of a takedown. A take in. All right, go and sit on the ground here for me, bud. Do you have anything illegal on you I need to know about? Any knives, guns, weapons, drugs? Anything of that nature here, we're gonna go and find out. He's got a can of pepper spray, so nothing <clears throat> that we need to concern ourselves with. All these guys car despawned, which is amazing. Um, <clears throat> Alright, excuse me. Pardon me, ma'am. Excuse. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, kill this siren, shut the door, and uh, that was good. We don't have much damage on the car, which is uh, beautiful, so... That is ultimately the uh, best way here that we could have ended that. Um, with no, no, come on, dude. Now I can't even get out. Cool. With no significant damage or whatever, so that's going to be fine. All tires were spiked on the vehicle here. It's got nothing in it that needs to be concerning to us at all. So that was a good pursuit. That was a good end. That was a nice, safe end there with that. Got that all taken care of. We're gonna go and get this thing towed out of here as well as a plate check on it. <clears throat> and that'll be it. So, oh, that could have been a good pit there if you got it, bud. Alright, so we're gonna be out of here now. We're gonna go and maneuver our vehicle off to a better location here. I'm just gonna flip around and go over to this little parking lot that I know of over here from a previous thing I've got. And I remember there's a good one over here. Or right here might be. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the parking lot. We'll go to the parking lot right here. Okay, so that'll be that. We'll go and write up his uh, informational report here. And uh, we'll get him on out of here. So <clears throat> his license has been expired for 460 days. So over a year 
And, um, okay. Yeah, so he's been driving under the influence and license suspended. His license is not suspended right now, but it's expired, so it probably should be suspended. If his license has been suspended before, and now he got it back, and now he expires it, that's not good. So, all right, so he's going to go and get um, resisting arrest here, and that's really all that I can get him for. So we're going to get him transported and out of here, and uh, we'll go and get back to uh, Del Perro, and we'll go and be uh, back code 4, back to the... We actually still have that broken down vehicle call that we need to attend to, so uh, we're going to go and do that now, now that they've been waiting here. They are in the middle of the intersection, actually, so we're going to have to, um, you know, maneuver our vehicle here off to a better location. But, okay, so we're going to go and do that, get back a little bit here on the lighting, add in a little bit of backlighting there, and then just do that for the front. It's fine. Okay, so we'll get a front steady burn as well, just why not? Okay, so we're going to be here now. We've got a directional. People should know where to go if they want to go and do that. And uh, we'll see what's happening. So, how's it going, sir? What's going on here? Uh, you got an ID on you real quick? Since we're in the middle of the road here. <clears throat> Alright, so this is George. He's going to be clean. Or Gregory, not George. He's going to be clean, negative 99. The plate is going to be coming back. Um... We'll check that out real quick before we uh, work on his car. It's our insurance, so that's, that's a citation, but not a humongous issue right now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get uh, this taken care of here. Alright, your vehicle should be good to go, man. Alright, going to get out of the intersection safely. Have a good day. Alright, I got to get out of the intersection safely, too, so... Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just get on my emergency lighting here to make sure that he's going to be able to get on out of here okay. And, uh, that'll be that, so. Go and hop on out, bud. Don't come there. There you go. Yeah, keep going. There we go. Just going to keep this on. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we're going to go in via back code 4 now, back today, and available for goals. You've got a, a vehicle here that's kind of parked in the, uh, they're weirdly parked, that's for sure. They're, uh, kind of, I don't know how to describe this, really. They're just, they're like zigzag-ish. One's parked near the fire hydrant, which is actually in front of the fire hydrant, so this one's going to get towed, that one's going to get a citation for kind of leaning while they're parking, so I'm going to go and write this one a citation for parking near the hydrant, and we're going to get it towed out of here. Plate, and then the other one's gonna go get a citation, four, zero, not a tow. X -ray, X -ray, I think this would be a red zone too, since there's a hydrant, but you know, whatever floats your boat. Actually, it should be. If you look at the ground, it kind of looks a little red, but it's not as prominent as that red is right there. So, this one's still gonna get a citation because it's too we far from the curb. Issue in San Delta Diego and LA and a lot of Southern California is parking. Uh, and not a lot of it, and everybody wants it, so. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right. Alright, that's gonna be that. We're gonna go and be uh, code forward this time now, back to Nate, and available for calls. <coughs> I cannot do anything with anybody. Okay, I got a helmet? Nope. This motorcycle list here it does not have a helmet, which he should. And there's also a van up there that's parked up very interestingly, so hopefully I can get this guy stopped here before that van. And then, um, like I'm gonna stop him right here. Pull over, yes, thank you, so I can deal with this van and all these other weird people that are parking. Very interestingly, okay, hit the van, even better. Now I definitely will remember to deal with it. Okay, so we're gonna be out right now with a, uh... No, I can't, okay. Uh, with a bike, so 10 and 11 on a motorcycle, northbound Rockford Drive here, out front of the uh, movie studio place. Gonna be a viola violation for no helmet. Get that back in sync. Brendan Walden. Alright, so no citations and. Oh, three citations and no flags, okay. Hey man, how's it going? My name is Officer Epic Gaming with the San Diego Police Department. Reason I'm stopping today is because you're not wearing a helmet, okay? You need to be wearing a helmet when you're riding a bike, okay? 
All right, everything else about your bike is completely legal, though. And I see you got your blinkers, you got your plate and everything, and your headlights and your brake lights. So just the helmet at this time is the issue. So where is that at right now? You forgot. Okay. All right, well, you got anything illegal on your bike? Not that you know of. Okay, you got anything to drink? Nope. Okay, only one? Okay. Uh, that's going to be a little bit of an issue. We'll talk about that here in a second. But you got ID on your mail right now, proof of insurance? All right, Brandon, sit tight for me. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to go and run his information. He says he's had one drink. So I don't know when this was, if it was last night or like five minutes ago. Because it's a little bit uh, earlier in the day right now to be drinking. So not too much to worry about there about uh, his record of citations. He lives in the Great Ocean Highway. <clears throat> but other than that, he is clear and uh, good to go. So... Uh, like I said, we're gonna go and breathalyze him here now because he did say that he had the drink. So, sir, like I said, you did have that drink, so I do need to go and perform this test. Okay, okay, not appropriate. Great. <laughs> All right, he's coming back cleared. So, uh, what's gonna happen right now, sir, is you're gonna go and get a citation for the no helmet, and I will ask you to go and go home and get that. Okay. So I'm not uh, going to tow your bike or do whatever today. I just want you to go and go home and get that, okay? All right, sit tight for me while I write that out. All right, so let's go and go and write this guy's citation out right now. It's going to be traffic citation for the no helmet. Which is going to be under equipment, I know that already. Okay, um, broken, unlawful, where is no helmet? Seat belt, it should be helmet. You'd think there'd be a helmet, really, you know? Wow, maybe it'll be under operation or something. I think it would be something like that. There you go, driving without a helmet, okay. Uh, it's a black motorcycle. We're going to go and fill that out. Motorcycle. Boom. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead now and... What are you doing? He's driving down the wrong side of the street. Okay. Alright, sir. So, you're going to go and get a citation today here, like I said, for the helmet. Go and sign here in this red box. It says, uh, without admitting guilt, you promise to appear at the time and place listed below and all that information there. Just basically so that you'll take care of it. Um, and, yeah, that'll be that. So... Alright, go and sit, um, just go and get on out of here safely if you can and try not to hit the bike, okay? Have a good day. The bike, I said, the van I meant. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead now and, um, deal with this here. Let me get him out of here, scripted to do that. And then I'm gonna go and get my other lights on now. I don't know why I just don't keep on the same lighting, but... Okay, so, uh, definitely a traffic citation and a tow for this van and for that, uh, explorer up there for being on the curb. What are you people doing? The motorcycles are crazy. He's dry. Uh, 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 I don't even know, dude. <laughs> Driving down the sidewalk. There you go. One way to do it. We're going to get this thing towed as well here. Yeah, I'd be running. Holy cow. George, Victor, three, seven, eight. Proceed with patrol. Alright, this one is going to get a parking ticket and a tow as well, because on the curb. And then that panto is also going to get a ticket and a tow for being too far away. Look at that. People do not know how to park on the street. If we see that red motorcycle, he's going to get a citation for destruction of public property. All that stuff back there. Okay. Good. Proceed with patrol. Okay, so well, that thing's gonna get a citation as well here. Let me go and do that. Put it on his back window. Why not? That works. All right, let's quit honking, please. Okay, so now everything will be towed on out of here. We'll be good to go. We have an illegally parked vehicle. And uh, we're gonna get out of this area. Okay. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. All right, we are good to go. We'll go and be uh, back today now. And uh, see what else we can get into today. We're getting in route right now to a uh, driver into the influence. They're actually going to be on the freeway here if we look at that. Yep. They're going to be in the Del Perro uh, tunnel thing. So they're going to be coming out the other side, which is going to be right here. So I need to get down there, which is not the way I want to go. Okay, how am I going to do this? Oh, God. I'm going to have to flip around on the freeway, I think. Yep. 
Okay. So we're gonna go and get on the freeway now, and we're gonna go and flip around here for this uh, DUI subject. <clears throat> which is going to be back this way, so. Let's go and flip around. They don't use the three siren here, I remember. They don't use it in LA, they don't use it in any really California area. I don't think they use this priority siren. So, I want to reinstall the LAPD siren just to use as my regular siren now. I don't know why, I'm just interested in that. So, maybe I'll put that back in here. I love these lights in the tunnel, holy cow. If you guys want to see more San Diego Police Department, let me know in the comments down below. Really am enjoying it. I love this Explorer a lot, actually, so... Might be able to do it again. Um, I'm going to deactivate. Ooh, we got a little dicey right there. It's going to be the... <gasps> is that it? Is that the red motorcycle? I swear, dude, if this is it. It kind of looks like it. The same dude and everything. That is him. Holy cow. We're going to get this guy right now here. And then we're going to get that guy in a second. So, just hold on a sec, bud. Yeah, this is the guy from earlier, so if it's not, I'm just going to say it is because I want to get some justice from that. Because really, this should have been, I mean, it looks like him. Red motorcycle, black, yeah, that was him. He's taking off, of course, it's definitely him. He's going to be trapped, though, so, you know, I don't know what he wants to really do here. That's going to be good. Uh-huh. Yeah, bud. Where, where are you going to go? Hmm? Please tell me that. Where are you going to go? Where are you gonna go? Get off the bike! Get off the bike! Stop, get off the police. bike! Get your hands up, dude! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Think you're gonna run away? No. I don't think so. You definitely were the guy back there now, cause you're running, so... Must be, or you got warrants or something. Jaden Shelby. Alright, go and hop in the car, bud. You got anything illegal on you I need to know about right now? I like how you come in here. Like, what do you think? There's gonna be a nice little, uh, way you can escape? Like, what the heck? Alright, so go and hop in here. <clears throat> hop in here. There you are. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead now and, uh, get this vehicle back out here. Do -do -do. Oh, shoot. And, uh, I'm gonna go and search him. I mean, search his car, his bike. Suicide vest, so nothing of our interest here. Gonna get that thick toad. Quick little uh, thing here so that I can get him. The uh, other dude. <clears throat> the driver who was intoxicated. Okay, uh, so we'll go and get this going on now. And it is. What am I doing? Not a traffic citation. I don't want a traffic citation. I want an arrest report. Arrest report. There we go. Okay, so let me go and do that. Let me close out of these things. Charges, nonviolent, resisting, save and close, get a transport. Then my door fell off. That's legit. In Pacific Bluff. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go in now and uh, try and catch up again with the uh, other driver. You really didn't get far, actually. That was uh, good. Hello? <laughs> That's great, actually. You didn't get far at all. Hey, stop, bud. Okay, so we're good to go in now and uh, try and catch up with this guy again here. Let me just flip around. I guess we can go this way. That works. Never even been this way before, so there you go. Oh, dang it, dude. Come on, man. Okay, interesting. Learning all kinds of secrets of Los Santos here this episode. <laughs> A bunch of places I've never been. All right. Gonna try and catch up with this guy here. He's gonna be uh, down this way. Um, up a little bit more. Come on, people, move. Go through the middle like so. There we go. Alright. Straight down this way here. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be this uh, bison. Okay. Nice turn there, actually. Alright, we're gonna go and get this guy pulled over now. Hopefully we won't run here. We've done a lot this episode. It's been pretty long, so... Gonna try and wrap this up here shortly. And then that'll be that. So we'll go and get him. A1028 on that. Eight, one, David, Robert, Tom. All right. Two, eight, nine, no, Ken, 99. I'm just gonna do that here with the lighting. <clears throat> and put it on that. Why not? 
Okay, so we're gonna go and get out here, 1011 Vice and Dispatch, you already know. Let's go and have a chat. How's it going, sir? My name is Officer Epic, even with the uh, San Diego Police Department. The reason I'm stopping today is because you're swerving all over the place. We got people reporting saying that you've been, uh, you know, swerving. Seems like you've been drinking, alright? Jake, alright. You got anything illegal in the vehicle? Of course not. Okay, anything to drink? Nope. Alright, sit tight for me. We'll be right back with you. Okay, I did. Okay, cool. GTA logic. I like it. Um, we did see him do some uh, erratic maneuvers there with the uh, with the driving before and after we stopped him. Uh, did we freeze? Come on, man. Well, it's time anyways. So there you go. That's gonna go and wrap it up for this episode of LSPD Far, guys. I really do hope that you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And until the next one, guys. Peace out.